so here we are for our garden tour of your town prize home 537. We are in beautiful Budrum on the Sunshine Coast and because I want to save you from having to deal with my terrible garden tours, I've got some help this time. <laughs> so Wayne is a winner of a Your Town Prize home and pa Wayne, people have talked about your house yes, a lot it's a lately house. <laughs> on our Facebook page. So Wayne and his beautiful wife won Mill Road, which I know you guys have talked about a lot. Recently, someone was saying that that is their favourite house that we've yes, ever done. It's our favourite as well. <laughs> <laughs> Would never leave. Your castle, I believe. Yeah, it is. Definitely a castle. Now you yes. guys packed up your life in yes, central Queensland. We did. And moved to Budrum. So two years ago, pretty close to now. Yes. I phoned you, you and did. we changed your life. You did forever. <laughs> For the better. And how do you feel? Tell me what it's like to get that phone call. Um, yeah, it was very overwhelming at the time, but it's a life changing experience. It's so wonderful living down here. It's a great community. Everybody's so friendly and welcoming. And how good is Budrum? Oh, it's a beautiful place. It's so gorgeous, yes, isn't it? You're it so is. close to the beaches, so yep. many cafes, restaurants, little shopping precincts. You've got all of your woolies and your coals and those sorts of Everything amenities nice and close. Everything is five, ten minutes away. You can that, walk to the town centre. That gorgeous little school yes, up the road. Yes, the which most amazing school. Honestly, it, it is like picture perfect. Now, we also had another winner from Budrum. He lives a street away. Pop over and you guys get to meet. Yes, finally. <laughs> after they've won their house a year ago. A year ago, literally a year ago last week, which is just incredible. So the community of winners, the community in Budrum, just beautiful. Yes, it so, is. So Wayne highly recommends Budrum. So yes, you've got to get some best. tickets. But he's going to help me because he actually knows a way more about gardens. So you are a, a little retired bit now. Retired, definitely retired. <laughs> retired builder. Yes. But you're a bit of a gardener as well. I love my gardening, yes. Excellent. So you're in good hands. So here we are at the front of the house here. So we've got Kaz behind the camera. Kaz, let's just open that garage here and we'll show everybody inside the garage before we uh, get into the gardens here. So we've got a double car garage. As we always say, we do remove a little bit of the furniture just for photography, but you've got your three bins there. So you're recycling your general waste and your green waste. And uh, then we've got, as we said, a little bit of extra furniture, but it is a double garage. We've got a Dyson over here mounted on the wall, just to tuck that out of the way. Now out the front of this house, and it's perfect if you just pan around from there, Kaz, you can see part of this beautiful cul-de-sac in Sorensen Avenue and this mature tree out Ancient the front. old Ponciana tree. They're one of the most popular trees in Budrum. They, um, the council prefer to have them in instead of a lot of other trees. See, I'm learning something already here. It's, a, <laughs> it's such a beautiful cold, a little street, this one, very quiet. Would be an awesome place to live. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And this garden here, very reminiscent of what we've done with the house, which is that kind of Palm Springs vibe. Yes. So lots people of, have talked about the cactus. Lots of cactus and <laughs> tree aloes. It's, it's nice and low maintenance because one of the things that's great about this, this street is that it is very tree lined. You feel like you're living almost in the middle of a forest, yes. but they, the trees let the sun, thr sun through, but there is a bit of shade. So, you know, reality is you have to landscape accordingly, right? Exactly. Yeah. Just to um, have the right plants in. The cactus do really well here. Madagascan palm. Which is a Madagascan palm? This one here. Oh, there They're you go. They're the original frangipanis. There you go. See, yes. it's two things in one minute. Learn something new every day. Exactly. Well, I'm going to learn a bit this morning, clearly. So we're just going to pop around here to um, the courtyard of the retreat. So you guys have a retreat in your house too. Yes, we do. It's so good when we have visitors. They've got their own private space. And you've got your own shower. private space We've got our own private space. <laughs> It's a nice little courtyard, this one. Yeah, it's lovely. Beautiful um, void in the roof there so that you've got the sun coming through into the yep. courtyard space. Beautiful winter sun, warm the place up. I know. This Some is... nice yuccas in the back, a couple more cactus. And then obviously this, this uh, screening here, that is, um, that is security screening. Yes. But you can see from the hallway in the house through to that garden area with the light coming yeah. in, which is just beautiful. It's beautiful with the the small gravel around the 
so tidy. Nice and low maintenance. Yes. And as we said, a space where your guests can just enjoy themselves, have their own space. But more importantly, when you are the winner of the prize home and you've got lots of friends that want to come and visit, yes. you've got your own space too. You do, definitely. That's very important. All right. Well, let's go back around to the front. Okay, so um, that was one side of the property from the front. So on this side of the property, uh, just on the other side of the garage. Now, Kaz, you were saying this morning that we had a supporter come around and measure up for a caravan or a boat down the side here. So I guess yeah. that's possible, right? There's enough room to put your caravan or a boat in the side. And it's a nice quiet street, so it's easy access and easy to get it out. So the other great thing about um, this house is while you have this lovely open spaced area here, it is fenced down both sides. So if yeah. you wanted to have um, yep. an animal or if you have small children, you're pretty secure from the street. Nice little snow in summer. And what's this here? Uh, the solar panels on the roof and the power board. Yeah. And we've got a little lock box here so that uh, when you win the property, you can have your keys locked up securely to get back into the property, particularly if you decide to use it as a holiday home. Nice little garden of yuccas along the side. Got your hot water system there. It's a big one. I think uh, under good authority, litres. 200 litres. Nice little quarter line, some grass trees. So this takes us back around to the pool side. So we've got our gas for the kitchen here. And then this takes us into the laundry and butler's pantry space inside the property from this door here. But we've got an outdoor shower there, which from is great. Pool. Easy access into the toilet. And then pool, obviously. The, we did have a little spot before and see that the filter and so forth is just underneath, underneath that decking. The deck. Access from the garden area. Some nice little native quandongs with their new, new leaves on. So private from the neighbours. It's, it's beautiful. You know, it's incredible you're in this little quiet cul-de-sac. You can walk to restaurants and, and shops and it feels like you are... They're beautiful, these tree alloys, aren't they? They grow quite, quite huge. Another little grass tree in the corner here. And then look at that vista. Some huge cactus here. Yeah, nice mature cactus around the yeah. pool. Nice little hedge of lily pillies on the side there for privacy. Now some of these are uh, Plant, this planting out the back is reminiscent of your place, so we yeah, like to put up nice mature yeah, trees. We've uh, got some of the trees. native quandongs. They're beautiful this time of year with the new shoots on, all the different colours. So it creates that really lovely hedging, but so private as well. It is, yeah. And then the money yeah, shot. What a view. <laughs> what a view, sitting out here around the fire pit in the afternoons. Watching that sunset. Taking it all in what you've won. That's it. So if we go up the back here, we can see that the boundary of the property finishes pretty much where this ledge is. So really, we were talking earlier today, yeah. if you wanted to fully Cons pet proof or, or child proof this space, you would just need to put a fence, fence along here. the top of the wall. And just, you know, still take, take advantage of that view. Yes. This, I just love standing at the back here and then just looking back at the house. The nice tall palms, I know palms, the nice tall palms that Royal you can Cuban. see they're framing yeah. the house. And a nice Alexander beside it. So, and they've built a nice, um, a nice little wall of, of planting here too. Yes, more lily pillies on this side. More native quandongs. Some hibiscus and cord and this lines. Is, this is lovely that you can just sit it out is. off the master bedroom it as is. well and just having that nice grassed area. Such a relaxing feel. It's beautiful. And then just down the side here, you can see it takes you back through towards the retreat. 
but nice grassed area. Yeah. Privacy with the gardens there being quite mature. Some more yuccas in this little nook and some more beautiful cactus. So another great little feature where this really is bringing the outside in inside. You've got that void in the roof to allow the sun and the, the rain to come down and service that area. But you're also being able to see that as a feature as you walk through the hallway of the property. So you've got your air conditioning there. Massive unit there. And then of course we can't we can't hang around here too long because we have to get <laughs> back to this to that incredible view. view. And they've just come through and uh, done the grass. They've done an incredible job there. I love those lines in the yes. grass. There's something luxurious about having your lawn mowed that way. Well, there you go. How amazing is that? Just incredible. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be pretty incredible to call the winner and <laughs> let them know the they good news. We'll be so happy to live in this little community. It is such a beautiful place up here in Budrum. And you love it. You guys love oh, it. You're love never it. leaving. We'll never leave. Never leave. No. <laughs> Quite often you get real estate agents knocking yes, your door saying, do you get, want to sell? <laughs> we, get, we get cards every week from a real estate agent trying to buy the house or sell the house. So all real estate agents, beware. He's yes, never selling. Never selling. <laughs> and he'll call you just in case he does. Thank you so much, Wayne. Really appreciate it. No problem. Uh, My that's pleasure. That's the garden tour. He knows a lot more plants than me. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we look forward to, hopefully we can convince Wayne to join us again at some stage in the near future. I can't see there being a problem. <laughs> Perfect. We love it. Thanks so much, guys. Now get your tickets. This house will sell quickly. One ticket can change your life forever. Absolutely. And it has.